Okay, here's a uh, another really kind of cool idea. This is using trap code. The other one was just a standard echo that you can mess with. This is actually uh, using trap code for a trail. Um, I mean, it's it doesn't give you like a perfect outline, but it gives you kind of a c way cooler looking trail if you want to play with it. It's a little slower to render and everything, of course, but you know, definitely it's kind of worth it. All right, so let's just go through. Uh, basically, all I did was create. Uh, I have a solid here. That's just as my background. You know, just something. So kind of ignore that. Just just the background for temporarily. I have my outline, which was this. This is the outline I did the auto trace on. Um, I auto traced it and copied it to my main guy jumping. Okay. So basically, uh, we got the outline. We copied and pasted the mass to it. Okay, so once you get to the point to where you do, you take the outline mass and paste them onto your real footage of the um, character, um, and to where you have an outline, you have to pre-comp that. So you'd go to layer, uh, pre-comp, make sure you move all attributes, and then you'll wind up with a pre-comp, which which is on this one. Now this is a pre-comp of the outline. Okay, so basically you just want uh, the pre-comp of an outline so you ha you can use it for trap code because trap code won't allow you to use it otherwise. Now you also have to make this a 3D layer. So see the little square up here? Uh, make sure it's on first. Turn it into a 3D layer just to make sure that's set. Okay, so now all we need to do is let's turn back our background layer just so we can see it. We got to go create a new solid. This uh, top layer is just the the what we're going to use for that's the main character because we have to put him over the trail. So we'll just turn him off for now, and we're going to go to a layer, new solid. Doesn't matter what color, and uh, go ahead and on that layer, go to effect trap code particular and once you get trap code particular in there you'll just if you scroll through the timeline you'll see it's just particles right now okay so what we need to do is to go to the emitter tab and change from point to layer okay and then we gotta choose layer this it's gotta be the uh, pre-comp which is number layer three, the pre-comp outline. That's that's going to be the layer. Got to make sure it's the correct one, or it's not going to work right. Okay, so we just may we're using the outline layer as our emitter. Okay, so all the particles are going to be coming off that. Okay, let's change our direction type to direction. Let's turn velocity down to five. Uh, velocity random to zero, zero, and emitter size to zero. Uh, spread also has to go to zero. So basically everything to zero except velocity we're going to set to five. Okay. Now what we need to do is change the current time layer sampling to particle birth time. Okay, that should do it there. Good. Um, this velocity may have to be minus five, I believe. Minus five. So it goes the other way. Yep. Okay, just remember this is going to start getting slow once we start adding particles to it. Okay, so then you go down to particle. Yeah, open that particle thing and change your life to, well, we'll just change it to 10 for now and change the sphere to glow sphere turn sphere feather all the way down from 50 to 0 so we have no feather we want a sharp one change your particle size to say 3 for now get it small now we got to look for, you got to look down the list for size over life well actually let's let's hold off on that on the size over life just for now open up the physics in there in the uh, menu 
And under physics, change the physic time vector to 10. Okay, so now we have more particles immediately flowing from the outline, as you can see. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in our, uh, turn on our front layer so we have him blocking it so we can see it better. Okay, so as you can see, now the particles are flowing from his body. Now we need to go add more particles so we can see them more. So go up to all the way to the top, to particle seconds, and start turning them up. Turn them up, turn them up. Okay, uh, we have to bring, we have to bring, I forgot to do that, we got to bring our front layer, which is the character, above the particles. Okay, yeah, it's got to be above that solid. Okay, we can turn off the outline layer. We don't need the outline layer anymore because it's the solid, the particle solid here is create is using this layer. So we don't need to have it on. All it's doing is creating a outline anyway. So it's just for our emitter. So just make sure the particle, the solid for the particles is turned on and above that is your character. Okay, so as you can see, you know, we have the particles are flowing off the outline and kind of looks cool already just the way it is. You'll want to go with a lot of particles for this though. You know, this could be crazy. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll stick with 2400 for now. Um, okay, we have that set. Alright, now your life per second, now you can start fiddling with that, but first go to size over life and change it. There's a little uh, preset in here, which is the angle going down this way. Make sure we have it the right way. Yep. Okay, it's got to go this way. This way the particles are smaller. They're going to be smaller in the end. Okay, so they're kind of kind of fade off, fade off in the distance. Okay, now we got to do opacity over life. Do the same thing. It's a second preset down, and you get that line. This way they also fade out over time.